of a two-state solution with Israel? Well, the Americans in the U.S. foreign policy apparatus who care about U.S. interests have always been working for uh, some kind of peaceful, stabilizing solution in the Middle East. But unfortunately, they don't run things here. Uh, ever since the assassination of President Kennedy, the Zionist power configuration, which is what scholar James Petrus calls it, has dominated uh, U.S. Mideast policy. There have been a few minor disputes, but overall, uh, it's been the hardline Zionists calling the shots here in America. And they do that by way of uh, a number of areas. They have uh, all of the so-called major Jewish groups are, are really uh, ag unregistered agents of a foreign power and therefore criminals. Uh, as James Petrus documents, there are several hundred thousand of these people who are acting as unregistered agents of a foreign power mm -hmm. who are devoting tremendous energy to capturing U.S. foreign policy decision making and operating it purely on behalf of Israel. And again, I hate to say it, Kenneth, uh, but those are the people who did uh, perpetrate the coup d'etat on September 11, 2001. And I am perfectly willing to come on television with nuts like you who are denying it and debate them. And in fact, uh, we're offering $2,000 to anybody who will come and debate me on 9-11 here at the University of Wisconsin. Okay. Not one professor in the entire university system is willing to defend the 9-11 Commission report. So maybe you could come here to Wisconsin okay. and try and defend the official story well, of 9-11 well, because nobody else seems to think it's yeah. defensible. Maybe we could put a 